Hey everyone, it's Miss Dugata again. How are you? Oh, I miss you guys so much. I hope everything is going well. Um, I want to talk to you today about an artist named Piet Mondrian. So everyone say Piet Mondrian. Good. No, say it like it's really funny. <laughs> Piet Mondrian. Good. Now say it like it's very scary. Piet Mondrian. And say it like you really, really shy. Piet Mondrian. Now say it with a whisper. Piet Mondrian. Uh, this is a picture of him. I hope to get better at videotaping. Um, he's a painter from Holland. Woo! Internet's going crazy. Okay. He was born in Holland over 145 years ago. He was the father of an artist and his uncle was a professional artist, and they taught him how to paint. At first, he painted realistic landscapes. Remember when we talked about landscapes? Landscapes are pictures of the outdoors without people in them. You've got the trees, the flowers. We've got the basketball court at PS 187, but there are no people in them. Those are landscapes. And he started out doing realistic landscapes. And then he got really, 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 really tired of doing that. He didn't like doing that. He wanted to explore color and shape. So he started to make these shapes with lines and color that no one had ever seen before. When people saw it, they were like, what is that? Because no one had ever done it before. Over time, Piet's work became very simple, and he just used lines and five colors. Can you guess what colors he liked best? I am going to tell you. He liked, I don't know why the yellow is not showing up on this, but um, there is yellow there too. Come on. Oh, it's not showing up so well. All right. Uh, primary colors. Our primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. Everyone repeat after me. Red, yellow, and blue. Good. Our primary colors, say primary colors, are red, yellow, and blue. Say that for me one more time. And besides black and gray and white, those are the only colors that Piet Mondrian worked with. So he liked to do the idea of things, and we call that abstract art. It means you look at it, and it doesn't look like a person or a flower or a room. It looks like something, and you make up your mind about it. Kind of like we talked about with Kandinsky, abstract art, looking at it and finding your own picture in it. So, over 20, wait, I think it's 20 or 30. Uh, notice how his paintings don't look like something. They are just squares and rectangles, and they are only in the colors red, blue, and yellow, and sometimes gray, black, and white. He uses straight lines, shapes, and for 20 years, Piet only used those colors in his work. Sometimes... He would change the thickness of the lines. Other times, he would make the shapes far apart, put in a little color, sometimes a lot of color. This is a picture of him working in his studio and a picture of him um, at one of his exhibits. Piet Mondrian became very popular and lots of people mimicked his style.
wish this was showing up better. Okay, so anyway, Piet Mondrian, we're going to talk about that again. Let me find a better one. So Piet Mondrian was a Holland artist, and he liked to do abstract shapes. He liked to do mostly squares and rectangles with lines, and he liked to use the primary colors in his work. Oh, there we go. That's better. Ah, we got the yellow now. Uh, he liked to use, well, I have the yellow. Ah, there we go. He, uh, he liked to use primary colors in his work, and our primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. So what I would like to do today is to create a Mondrian drawing. And what you'll need for that, you will need a piece of paper. You will need a pencil, a piece of paper and a pencil. You will also need, you will also need a yellow marker, a black marker, a red marker, and a blue marker. Okay? So, once everyone has those items, uh, come back to the computer screen. I'm going to tell you what you need again. A piece of paper, a yellow marker, a blue marker, a black marker, and a red marker, a pencil, and a piece of paper. And if you have a ruler, a ruler or the edge of a book. A ruler or the edge of a book. Okay? So, what I would like to do is I would like to create a Mondrian heart. A Mondrian heart is going to have our rectangles and squares and what main three colors? Our primary colors, what are they? That's right. Red, yellow, and blue. All right. You want to get started? All right. So I am going to use my notebook paper and I'm going to use a book um, as my ruler just in case you don't have a ruler at home okay so we're going to we are going to point to the middle of our paper and I want you to take your pencil and I want you to go like this and I want you to make a big swoopy just like that everyone see that Big swoop like that. Good. Then you're going to come to the other side and you're going to make a big swoopy like that. Uh oh, what do we have? We have the shape of a heart. A big swoopy heart. Everyone see that? Good, 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 good. Now I want you, if you have a ruler, you can use a ruler, but if you don't, you can use the edge of a book and your grown-ups are going to help you uh, straighten out the lines and then I want you to draw one line across the hearts right. and I want you to come down below the little center of your heart and I want you to draw another line okay. I want you to come down <laughs> and draw another line. Good. And I want you to come down and draw another line. And I want you to come down right here and draw one more line. So you should have something that looks like this. Everyone got that? Everyone got that? Good. Now, on the top line, I just want you to draw a line down the middle. I'm going to give you a second to do that with me. A line down the middle. Everyone say yes. Good. And over here on this one, point to this one, I want you to do two lines. Does everyone see that? I'm going to give you a second to catch up. Good, 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 good. And you're going to come over here. Point to, oh, sorry, point to this right here. And I'm going to do a line here and a line here. Everyone see that? Good. I'm going to give you a second to catch up. And you're going to come over here. 
and you're going to do a line where your square was. You're going to do a line right there and a line right there, and then a really tiny lump. And then you're going to come over here and draw a line and a really tiny line. Are we good so far? Good. My cat has decided to join us on the cat tree, so you may hear her doing cat things. All right, come over here, and you're going to make a line for a square, a line for a rectangle, a line for another rectangle, and then we're going to make a very thin one here. You can see that so far? Good, good, good. And we're going to make another thin rectangle. And guess what? Another thin rectangle. Good. We're going to come right here in between this square. Draw a line. Same thing with that square right there. You should have something that looks like this. I'm going to wait for you to catch up. Are you ready? I'm ready too. All right, so we're going to point to this rectangle right there. And underneath that, we're going to put a line. And we're going to point to this rectangle, and under that one, we're going to put one, two, three lines. So you should have something that looks like that. We're going to skip over here and go to this rectangle, and we're going to draw a line there. My cat is being really frisky, so sorry about that. And then we're going to come over here and draw a line there. So far, so good. And I like what I'm seeing. I like what I'm seeing. You're going to come to the middle of this line, and you're going to draw a line down. Then I want you to make a line there, a line beside that one, and a line over here. And the last thing we're going to do is we are just going to come over to this square in the middle of this square right here. We're going to draw a line down. Okay. And now it's time to start coloring. So if you want to color with me, you can color with me, or you can pick your own colors. But I am going to pick the white and the black areas for you. I'm going to pick the white and the black, but you can pick any blue, red, or yellow space for you. So the first one, I'm going to color blue, this one right here. But you can do either blue, red, or yellow, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and take my marker, and I'm going to color it in blue. I don't want any scribble scrabble, and I want you to stay in the lines. I don't want anything not colored within that shape, okay? No scribble scrabble, and I want you to stay in the lines. I know you can do that because I've seen you do it many times already. Okay? So you should have something that looks like that. So it can either be blue or red or yellow. We're going to leave this white. We're going to leave this white, and we're going to jump over to this one. I'm going to make it red, but you can make it any of the three colors that you want. I am going to make it red. Can make it any of the three colors that you want. I'm going to outline my shape. I'm not going to do scribble scrabble. And we have that. I'm going to leave this one white. This one white. And this one over here, I'm going to make yellow. You can do red, blue, or yellow. You should have something that looks like this. So far, so good. So why I have my yellow marker, I'm going to go to this one. I'm going to go to this one. I'm going to outline it. No scribble scrabble. I'm coloring probably a little bit faster than you will be able to for the video, but that's because I don't want you to get bored. <laughs> but also, um, you can rewatch this and color in time that works for you. I'm going to come beside this one and I'm going to do red. 
no scribble scrabble. I'm going to stay in my lines. So really, really hard to stay in my lines. So far, so good. Good. Now, we're going to leave that white. We're going to come right here and we're going to make that black. That black. Ready? So grab your black marker or crayon. And I'm going to outline it. And I'm going to color it in black. Okay. So far, so good. This is going to be white. And I'm going to make this one blue. This one blue. So I'm going to outline my blue broken. And then the shape beside of that one, I'm going to make red. I'm going to color that in red. You guys color in your own time. I'm just going to do this for the video. And then you can go back and color in your own time. Okay. Then I'm going to do this one right here, this little, little spot right there. I'm going to make it black. And I'm going to come right below the blue and the red, that little rectangle right there. I'm going to make that black. I'm going to leave this white. But I'm going to take my yellow, and I'm going to come here, and I'm going to color in that yellow, and this one yellow. Not the one in the middle, yellow and yellow. See that? Good. And in the middle of the yellow and yellow, I'm going to do blue. And then I'm going to leave this white. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do blue right here. And we'll leave that white. So what you should have so far should look something like this. Okay. Now, see this corner right here? I'm going to put my blue marker down and I'm going to come over and do this one. Right under the blue, I'm going to stay in my lines, no scribble scrabble. And I'm going to color in that black. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do this little one black. So you should have something that looks like this. So far, so good. So far, so good. Okay, now what I would like to do is take the red, the red, and right beside that black, this one right here, I want to make red. And I also want to come over here. See this one right here? Point to that one. Good. I'm going to outline that and make that red. And guess what? I'm going to come back and I'm going to get my blue and this big one right here. Whole thing blue. So, whole thing blue. And color it in, color it in, color it in, color it in. Color it in, color it in, color it in, color it in, color it in. All right, good. You should have something that looks like this. Okay? Now, where this black one is, right here, you're going to come right underneath that and you're going to do that little corner blue. And we're going to take our black marker and we're going to make that little one right there. We're going to make it black. And over here, underneath the red and the blue, 
Underneath the red and the blue, we are going to make that black as well. And color it in, no scribble scrabble, stay in the line, stay in the line, stay in the line, stay in the lines. And in between those two black shapes that we just colored in, we're gonna take our yellow and we're gonna color that in yellow. So it should look like that. So far so good? Very good. Now on the bottom, on the bottom, you are going to color the big part, the big side, red. And we're going to color that in. We're going to color that in. No scribble, scrabble, stay in the lines. I know you can do it because I've seen you do it before. Okay. So we should have something that looks like this. <gasps> it's a Mondrian. I love it. I love it. There's one more thing I want to do. If you have a Sharpie at home, if your parents have a Sharpie, and remember, Sharpies are permanent, so only do it with your parents there. Uh, if you have a Sharpie at home, we're going to outline this in a Sharpie. If you don't have a Sharpie at home, that's okay. You can outline it with a black marker or a black crayon. Okay, so I'm going to start outlining this. So I'm going to be very careful, and I'm going to outline the whole outside of my heart. I'm gonna be so careful when I do this to make sure that I follow the line that I drew there. And I'm gonna to come to the other side and I'm going to outline so careful, so careful. You're gonna take your time. You're gonna take your time and outline so careful, so careful. So your outline, your heart should be outlined like this. The whole heart on the outside should be outlined. Now, I'm going to outline the first line. I'm going to go over the line that I drew on both tops of the heart. And then I'm going to go over the lines that I made on both sides of the heart. So you should have something that looks like this. Good. Very good. Now we're going to go down to the next line and I'm going to outline the line on the next line and then I'm going to outline all the lines in that row. It should look like this. Everyone see that? Let's see. Good. Then I'm going to go down to the next line. Same thing. Same thing all the way down. I'm going to draw my line across as carefully as I can. I'm going to outline the lines in between so we can really see the colors pop. And it looks like that. You want to see that? Good. Then we're going to go to the next line. Same thing. We're going to Draw all the way across, and we're going to take a line, 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 and line. I'm going quickly because it's videotape and I don't want you to get bored. I want you to take your time. Something looking like this. Then we're going to go down to the next line. And same thing, we're going to outline our line. And you should have something that looks like this. Beautiful. And last but not least, whoo, I'm going to learn how to do this camera. Last but not least, we're going to go down to our last line and draw that line down. And you should have something that looks like this, which is very much a Mondrian heart. Now, let me tell you what I want to do. I would like all of you to make one of these hearts. I'm going to show it to you again. I'm going to show it to you again. And let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut my heart out. So you're going to get your parents to help you cut your heart out. And I'm going to hang mine in the window to say hi to all you guys. 
I thought it would be fun for us to put our Mondrian hearts in the window to show that we're thinking about each other, that we're thinking about hearts, and we're saying hi to each other. So can you do that for me? Can you cut out the heart with your mommies and daddies and tape it in your window? I am going to be looking for hearts when I do my walk by myself in the neighborhood. I want you to remember that Mondrian was a painter who loved to do primary colors. And the primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. So I will be looking for hearts in the windows. This is going to be my heart, and I'm going to say hi to you by hanging it in my window tonight. Please hang your hearts in the window. Know that Miss Donetta misses you, and she loves you. This too will pass. Your mommies and your daddies and your nannies and your grandmas and your grandpas need your help right now, so help them out and keep making beautiful art, okay? One more time. Mondrian made shapes and lines and used the primary colors red, yellow, and blue. I'm going to think for a couple days about what other artists I want to talk to you about. And in the meantime, please keep drawing and painting for Miss Donetta. Okay, wash your hands, stay away from other people, and I miss you very much.